What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love, much love. And we are back with another video. And in this video, I want to touch on how, just how much we don't understand how this world works as black people. And I have to talk about this because when y'all hear me speak on agency, saying we're our own agency here every day, and shout out to the visionaries, shout out to everyone who supports this channel, right? The reason why I'm so hell bent on this is because you have to understand how the system works. The system works in unison. So all the parts of the machine is the parts of the same thing. So if you talk about finance, you're talking about the same machine. If you talk about politics, you're talking about the same machine. If you talk about sex, race, gender, war, entertainment, sports, health, all of these things are just tentacles of the same machine. But what they've taught us, they've taught us that everything is separate. Everything is divided. You see? And see, this is why they preached rugged individualism to us because they wanted to create the psychology of separation. You see, see, because before you can totally divide and conquer, you must have the people separate in their minds. You must have these group of people now looking at themselves different from these group of people that they were once with. You have to create a level of separation. In order for divide and conquer to rule. You have to teach the people separation. And the way that they taught black people separation is rugged individualism. Becoming the token Negro. So you got to understand this. This is how divide and conquer works because guess what divided people are easier to rule <laughs> why do you think it's easy for them to subdue us for them to keep their foot on our necks for them to continue to oppress us because divided people are easier to rule This is why they came up with the concept of dividing and conquer, because it's easier to conquer people when they're divided, when they're separate in their mind, when they no longer see themselves as being part of those people. This is why other groups over, over decades of time they were able to get themselves up out of their situation. Mexicans are one of these groups of people. The LGBTQ are one of these, are, is another group of these people who realized the importance of unity, of agency. Now the LGBTQ have their own agency for their people. 
Now they can advocate for people in the world to treat them differently. See, we can't do that because we find importance in division. When you don't understand, this is how we're being conquered. See, see, some people, some powerful people who were LGBTQ, they, they decided to band together to help themselves and people like them. The same thing the Mexicans did. Except they started on a ground level. They took over the construction industry. They took over lawn care. And worked their way up. Now they're on their way to taking back California. And we can do this shit too. If we understand that divided people are easier to rule. If we don't understand this, we're never going to take anything back. Because anything that we get, we're going to we're either going to give it back to them or we're going to forfeit it. This is what's happening with Kanye West. This is what's happening with Kyrie Irving. See, they they're having to forfeit things because they don't have any agency. They're out there alone. They're out there alone. This is how our legacy can constantly get snatched away from us, robbed from us, pillaged. It is because we don't understand that divided people are easier to rule. Divided people are easier to conquer. The per perfect example, Haiti. And shout out to the brothers and sisters in Haiti, man. But they're a perfect example of what? Unity. They're all about unity. Unity is what, what got them to freedom. Unity is what helped them continue to fight, which led to them being free. You got to understand this. Divided people are easier to rule. This is why they constantly use this media to promote separation and division. What do you see all on black, black exploitation television? What do you see? Division. Families breaking up. Mothers and fathers getting divorced. Mothers and fathers breaking up. Fathers and sons not getting along. Mothers and daughters not getting along. Division. Division. And they constantly promote this to us. So in our mind, we can already accept separation. We can already accept divide and conquer. You see, we got to understand how this shit works, how this world works, how this system works. You think you think if we just attack the system financially, we're going to subdue the system? No, that's just one aspect of it. What about the health aspect of it? What about the sex aspect of it? What about the war aspect of it? You see? But the way that they educate us through their school system is they teach us everything separate. That's why everything has a separate class. Because they don't want to let you know how all these things work together. There's just they just teaching you one class at a time, one tentacle at a time. See, they're teaching it to you like this. So you look at the world broken up. 
everything is separate. When, when you really get the real information, you realize how all these things work in unison. And this is how the system works. So how can we combat a system if we're divided? We can't attack anything that works in unison with something because we're not working in unison with it, with anything, even with ourselves. We, we will be destroyed by default. And this is what you see with Kanye West, Kyrie Irving, and plenty other black men. Because they're fighting against a system alone. They have no agency. They have no tentacles working in unison with them. They're not connected or backed by a system. Or a group of people who created a system. So it's very fucking embarrassing to see black people just, just, just shit on these brothers and find ways to do it. But you don't find a way to stop fucking with the system. You don't find a way to do that. You find all the ways to live in that shit. And this is why divided people are easy to rule. This is why black people are so easy to rule. Because in our minds, it's really, I don't fuck with that nigga. So what do I look like taking a loss for him? You see, this is what this shit is about. What do I look like taking a L for him? What do I look like? You see? See, if you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And let me tell y'all this, man. We come into a time now in society where you got to stand for some shit. Because all of this shit that, that, that you chasing, that you think you're going to get, you're going to find out that none of that shit is real and that a lot of that shit is temporary. You don't see this? You don't see how these rappers are getting signed and then getting killed months after, two, three years after them getting signed? You got to start paying attention to what's real. See, because when you want to help people, you tell them the truth. This is why I have this up here, Thomas Sowell. You see, divided people are easy to rule. They're easier to rule. Easy. So what did these people do? They told us a lie and told us that separation was cool. Not working with each other, rugged individualism was cool. Because what? Lies help yourself. When you tell lies, that's because you just willing to help yourself. And what is this system about? This system is what? Self-serving. It's about greed, narcissism. That's what this is about. That's why they sold us the lie of rugged individualism when this goddamn system is not ran on that.
divided people are easier to rule. Because divided people was sold the lie that by them being divided, that they had more power, that the individual has more power than the goddamn collective. We were sold that lie and made to believe that lie. This is why in 2022, we still are where we are. Because we don't even want to pay attention to what to what's right in front of us. The system that you interact with every day has nothing to do with rugged individualism. But you still believe that the individual can change a collective. That the individual is more important than the collective. You see? And see, I don't know if y'all paying attention, man, but all of this shit is it's going to force us to come together because we're, we're going to have to come together to survive. We're going to have to come together to survive. But my thing is, when are black people going to get out of survival mode? Because it seems like to me, even when black men become billionaires, we're still in a perpetual state of survival. Kanye is still running for his life. Kyrie Irving is still being silenced. It's time to wake up, fellas. It's time for us to wake up and realize that we're our own agency. We are our own agency, man. I don't know when we're going to realize this, but Chicago is not enough. The death toll in Chicago is not enough. The current death toll in New York is not enough of our young black men and women. Is, is That's not enough. The homelessness rate, the mental health issues. That's not enough for y'all to believe. That divided people are easier to rule. And that the divided people that are being ruled is us. And it's so easy for them to rule us because we're divided. That no matter how much money we go and make, because we're still divided. We're still losing. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know what it's what 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 it's actually gonna take. Because um, we done got used to death, so you can't say more people dying. But this is this this is disgusting, man. It's disgusting, man. But get down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think of this video. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Also, shout out to Alpha Juice Co., the sponsor of Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Make sure you get down in the description box and get your Alpha Juices. And at your checkout, use the promo code DS1ROSS at your checkout. Shout out to everybody. Salute to all the visionaries. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace.